What's up guys, we're gonna bro beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five guitar plugins of the year. If you guys haven't subbed already, I'll turn up as long as you do so, because it does help it a lot. Let's hop right into it. So with these, I guess, reviews or whatever, I wanna try something new. So I'm gonna just kinda go over how this is gonna work. So I kinda created a little simple system um, so that we can get from A to B, so you kinda figure out which one you like best. And I'll explain that in the next part. Um, and then the second part of the vid, will be kind of showing you an unedited version. So just straight out the box, what it would sound like. And on each of those parts, I'll have the same exact melody and you can kind of hear um, the quality differences and everything else. And then I'll show you an edited version where I use key switches and I kind of edit the melody um, and use the effects in the VST so you can see the potential of the actual VST itself. Um, and then from there, I'll kind of do like a producer's pick type of thing where I'll show you my ratings, right? And then I'll just pick my favorite one and I'll explain why I like them and why I don't like them as I'm doing it, all right? So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through the rating system real quick. So most of these will be a zero out of three. So zero meaning it's trash, you don't like it. Three meaning it's amazing, it's your favorite. So the first one is sample quality. Pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, you don't want your guitar to sound like a super synthesized guitar, okay? Two workflow or how user friendly it is so like soon as you open the vst can you just put notes down and start working right or is it easy to like access the key switches and, and effects and settings and stuff right okay so three would be realism so this would be like how realistic are the play modes and key switches so if you want to like do a slide or legato is it realistic is it smooth or is it kind of like abrupt and kind of does it sound weird right um, so obviously those three are important. Now the last one is price. Now this one is a zero to one because it's either you can pay for it or you can't, right? Now how I rate this one is, are you willing to pay for it or not? Um, so if $200 for a plugin, for example, is too much, then you would put a zero because you're like, I'm not willing to pay that much for a plugin, right? And if you are, you're like, I'll save up to get that then you put a one because you're willing to do it, right? Now, how do we use this? So let's just say for sample quality, you say it's a two, it's pretty decent. And then for workflow, you put a three. And let's just say realism, you put a three. And then maybe the price is too high, so you put a zero, right? Your rating for that plugin would be an eight out of 10, okay? You just add up the numbers and it's that simple. So that is the system. Um, that's how it'll work. Um, so we can go ahead and start kind of going through these examples. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and play the unedited versions and all of these will have the exact same melodies. So I'm gonna just play them all the way through. And if I need to, I'll put captions of which VST is playing. Um, so let's just go ahead and play these. Okay, so if you want to rate them off of the bare bones part, it's totally fine, it makes sense. Um, but I like to rate mine off of what they potentially can do. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make some new melodies um, and just make, I'm gonna just make a bunch um, just so it's not the same melody the whole time. Um, we kind of let them perform and you can kind of decide which one you think uh, sounds good, all right? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a listen to the edited examples. Now, each of these, they have a different melody and that is because each VST works differently when it comes to play modes or key switches. Um, and I tried to make these melodies as realistic as possible as far as like a producer making them. 
um you know i just want it to be a little bit relatable in that sense so let's go ahead and listen to them and we're going to start with Elia fmr first <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna just go through my ratings and kind of what I came up with. Now, if you want to follow along and make your own ratings, you can. Um, so starting with Ilya Efimov. Um, so for sample quality, I'm gonna be giving that a three. I think it has some of the best actual guitar samples, right? Um, so I just have to give it the highest rating. Um, so for user friendly or like the workflow, I'm gonna be giving it a three because usually when I load this up, I don't have to touch anything most of the key switches are automatic in here and that's why i like it so much um so you just play and it just it, it does whatever you want it to do so for realism i'm gonna give it a two only because it's not very much you can do with the key switches it's very limited um now you can go to options and you know mess around with some of these things but you know it i don't really like the way it looks and it's not very inviting and i don't know it's just not very intuitive um to work with i'd rather just use the base so that i'm um, so that's why i'm giving mine a two and then obviously i have these plugins so obviously for me i have to put a one so this will be a nine out of ten um so let's move on to the next guitar okay so next up we have the modern nylon so for sample quality i'm giving it a two because it does sound very synthetic sometimes um, when you play some notes um and then a three for the user friendly or the workflow um, because it is very intuitive i love the velocity how you can um kind of map the key switches to the velocity and i think that is every plugin should do that so that's why i give it a three and then unfortunately i have to give it a one for realism um i don't know it just sounds super synth synthetic um when you play it sometimes you can kind of tell that it's a vst i don't know how to explain that but it just sounds like a vst even if it's like playing like the palm mutes and stuff like that and obviously a one for the price because obviously i have it um so that would be a seven out of ten for the modern nylon for me and i'll pop up the prices on the screen somewhere so don't worry about that all right so next up we have the renaissance guitar so for simple quality we have a two and then for the workflow we have a three and then for the realism i put a 1.5 now the reason i put a 1.5 is because it's a little better than a modern nylon um, I think it's still when it does some like play modes like hammer ons or whatever or slides It does sound very like instant and it's not very smooth all the time I um, mean of course a one for the price so a 7.5 out of 10 for this one And this is the cheapest one out of the bunch too. So keep that in mind All right, so next up we have shreddage um, arc top now This is kind of universal for all of them, right? Because they kind of built the same way the samples are just different um, so I'm gonna give this a 2.5 for the sample quality because I'm not sure if I really like it. Like it sounds convincing, but I feel like it's just too clean maybe. I'm um, just something off about it. Um, so 2.5 there. And then I'm gonna give it a two for um, workflow because as you can see, it is a lot. And this is just this screen, right? We haven't even went over here. Um, it's a lot of stuff. So it's a learning curve, but once you get over it, um, it's amazing. So I just got to give it a two. I'm um, a three for realism. It's the most realistic and powerful VST out, period. 
um it, it's crazy stuff you can do with this um, but again that learning curve um and then a one obviously i have it so that will put us at an 8.5 out of 10 for this one all right all right so last up we have ample guitar luther um and i'm gonna just make it quick so it's a three 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 one so it's a 10 out of 10. um you cannot ignore greatness and this is not even my favorite plug-in honestly um, if you watch my videos you know that the Ely Ephemov guitar is my favorite like I always use this and I will forever always use this until something new comes out um, but you can't ignore that this just sounds the best it just does it's the most convincing in my opinion and it's the easiest you really don't even have to touch anything um, and I'll, I'll, I'll just play it one more time through and just compare like a lower tier one to this one like even that is hard to do with, with guitar VSD Like this part sounds so good to me. Like, it, I don't know if I close my eyes and listen, I wouldn't be able to tell if that was like a fake guitar or a real guitar. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my ratings. You can kind of make your own and come to your own conclusion. Um, I don't know. I hope this format works. I hope people like it. If not, then I don't know. We can go back to the old stuff, but I just want something more interactive to where you can actually figure out what you like rather than listen to me talk about what I like. So that's pretty much what all reviews are anyway but that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace